Hi, I'm Tibena Govindaraja, undergraduate at University of Malta. Today, in this video, we are going to see about bidirectional visitor counter using Admega32. First of all, I would like to explain what is bidirectional visitor counter. Bidirectional visitor counter is made up of two IR sensor so that it can increase or decrease the count of the people when people go in or outside of the room. The setup is like as shown in the figure. The two IR sensors will be placed here. It will function like, for example, if this is the outside and this is the inside of the room. So people are coming from this part so that we can notice when people are entering into the room, first of all, IR1 will be detected. Thereafter, IR2 will be detected. So, from the order of the detection of the IR sensor, we can find out people are entering into the room or leaving from the room. If first IR sensor is detected, we can find out people are entering into the room. So, we can increase the count by one. If IR2 sensor is detected first, then we can find out people are leaving from the room because when leaving only IR2 sensor detected first. So we can decrease the heart. Okay, now uh, see, uh, when there are normally in IR sensors, there are two types. That is, one is PAR sensor, that is passive IR sensor, and other one is active IR sensor. But normally, active IR sensor is referred as the IR sensor. We have to use here the active IR sensor, not the passive one. Passive one is used to detect the used to detect the uh, used to detect the presence of any motion objects the, from the heat emitted from that motion object. Using passive IR sensor, we can't detect the hound because passive IR sensor not emit any radiations. It only receives the radiation emitted from the heated body. That means when objects are moving, it emits, the, emits some kind of heat. So from that heat, we are finding the, any uh, motion is presented. So in this case, we have to use the active IR sensor. How active IR sensor functions? It has the two parts. First one, light emitting down, that is LED, and the other one is receiver. Normally, IR sensor emits the radiation, but when object come, come opposite for the IR sensor, infrared light from the LED reflects off the object and is detected by the receiver. For example, if it's a, it's a IR sensor, normally it emits the IR radiation. Then people comes in front of the IR sensor, the radiation emits again by reflection and receiver receives it. So from that, we, it will detect the obstacles found.
By the way, I have uh, forget to tell you about one thing. This is my article. I have written this article in my own WordPress Hot Tips book. I will publish the link of the article in the description. If you want to go to this article, you can just click the link and you can just refer this article. I have explained all the things in the article also. Okay, if you want to see the IR uh, schematic diagram for this sensor, it will look like this. Here, to show off the hound, I have just used the LED, uh, LED light. That means when IR sensor detected, LED light will blink. For that time, for that time, for example, if the hound is three LED bar will be blink for three times. I have set up this setup for that time, for that. If you want to just print the uh, people hound, there is nothing, don't worry. You have just needed to include the library for the LCD display. And just enough to print the hound instead of the LED. There is nothing, any changes. Just remove the code for the LED display and insert the LCD printer. But don't forget to include the library. Since uh, LCD library is a large one, I have just show off using the LED display, LED bed. Okay, just go through the heart. Here, what I have done is, I have connected the IR sensor in the PD2 and the PD3. And I have connected the bulb in the PD0. So, if you have seen, PD2 and PD3, are connected with the IR sensor. So since it's the input, that means infra IR sensor will be the input that is not displaying anything, uh, keypad and uh, like uh, IR sensors are input. For example, uh, like uh, LED or output. So since it's the input, we have to design, uh, we have to declare this pin as the input pin. Okay. So uh, DDRB, data direction register, register for the PD2 and PD3 are declared as the input. That means both are set up to uh, zero. That's why we are printing the negotiation sign in front of that. And port D also uh, declared as the uh, zero because it reads the input, not output the input. And uh, this is for the LED bulb. For the LED bulb, we have to declare the data direction register as the output and the port B as the Input. Okay, uh, as the initial stage, hound is zero. Okay, now let's look into the code. Since IR sensor continuously needs to watch whether any persons are coming inside. That's why we are writing the code in the while loop because it will continuously run again and again. We will never stop, right? That's why we are running the code inside the while loop. If you just want to uh, check uh, the presence of people within morning six to nine six, just uh, put the code there and in the while loop, just put the code there to check whether the time is right using the uh, using any of the device that time or, or any of the device just want and insert the hot there, okay? This is the call. And uh, first of all, what we have to do is, 
you have to check which pin detects first pd2 or pd3 pd2 is connected to ir1 sensor and pd3 is connected to ir2 sensor so first check pd2 is detected or not If PD2 detects first, it will go for this loop. Go into the, if, if condition returns to, that's will this will go, go into this loop. And what I have do there is, I have wait here until I have two sensor detects. Because when people entering into the room, both sensor must detect, right? First, IR sensor will be, IR1 sensor will be there, then IR2 sensor will be there. The order is only uh, different, but both sensors should be detected when people are entering into the room or leaving into the room. So, uh, we have to wait until IR2 sensor will be detected. If, if you write uh, using just the if loop, then it will be a, a massive problem because uh, just it checks the check in one line. And uh, if, if any delays in the detection, because these codes are running very, very fast, it will take uh, 0 0.00 milliseconds. So uh, there is a most probability for the delay in the code. So it will higher possible for the missing of this code. That's why we are using the while loop. So it will wait until I have two sensor details. Here what I have put is, uh, here I have put not in front of that. So it runs again and again. Here in the end, I have put the semicolon. That means I have terminated in this one line. So this line, line will run again and again until it returns to. So if PD3, that means IR2 is not detected, it will return to. And then once it, it was detected, then it returns false and go to the other one. Other one also same problem. That means we have to wait until the detection wins. If you didn't write this line, the second while loop, then what will happen is it will once this loop once and it will goes for a second execution and goes there. So it will come first and detects uh, first. Both are run at the same time. Okay. So just remember to put this hot. You have to wait until the input wins. Because all are happening in nanosecond ranges. So we should consider about the delay. If you have just clicked the input also, you will take some delay and the code will show errors or will show wrong input. So just remember to put this line as well. So if the IR1 sensor detectors and then IR2 sensor, then we can understand people are going inside of the room. So we have to increase the harm. And this is for the blinging of the LED light. And if you want to print it in the LCD display, just remove this. And instead of this, you have to put LCD printer. Okay. Here I have bring the L, uh, LED light from zero to count. So if the hound is free, in LED display, LED light will blink for the three times. And here, what is happening next? If, 
if this uh, IR1 is not detected first, suppose if the people are leaving from the room, then IR2 will detect first, right? So when it detects, it will go into this part. It will return to and it will go into this loop. Suppose if you have with right is is a part and this is else part, then what will happen? If if more people are going or going or leaving also, we will go into this loop. That's why you have to put to checking the condition. That means else if condition. So in the else if condition, we have checking any detection for the IR2 sensor. Then as uh, similar to this, we have wait until IR1 detects. And again, we have wait until removal of the input IR1. And after that, we are detecting the count by one and LED light will be blinks for that count time. So this is the code. And here I have explained all the things one by one here. If you want, you can read this. And in the comment section, I have uploaded the link for the LCD display also. Here you can find, able to find all the needed files. Yeah. I think my network was a little bit slow. Ah, here, I have included library files and um, files for that. So uh, in the library files, all ne files needed for the display are present. And in the bi-directional visitor calendar, all the, the, all, the, all the things are present. So just, uh, put download this folder and put it in your admin studio code and run it will work fine okay and this is the code for that i hope you enjoy this video if you have any, any queries you can surely contact me over the linkedin my linkedin address also tibena govindaraja I'm always sure to help you. We will meet in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.